over the years, Windows has been developing for better or for worse. But wh which one of these is the best? Well, we're going to have to find out in this video where I make a this tier list. Hey guys, Windows 10 2023 here. Today I'm going to be ranking all Windows versions. Well, except for um, Windows 98 and older because every time I have... I'm pretty sure VirtualBox will not let me make virtual machines of Windows 1.0 and Windows 2.0. The ISO for Windows 1.0 just sent me into some, some Linux garbage. And for some reason, and I couldn't do the Windows 3.1 one. VirtualBox will just not let me install Windows 98 or anything older, so... And, uh, I don't really feel like using Windows. I mean, like, yeah. I am still allowed to use Windows ME, but I just don't want to mess around with it. Anyways, let's get started. Yeah, I know. We have some Windows mods and, uh, betas. But that isn't slowing me down. Let's... Let's try out Windows XP first. Nostalgia Factory. So, um, yes, Windows XP has brought in a lot of new features. Using Windows XP in 2023 is a blast from the past. You might have heard of this number, 2,763. Yeah, Windows XP is just really good. I like how how the, the start menu is so simple, but very useful. And yes, this does run on NT 5.1. Oh, the windows the window is gone. Let's try browsing. Let's try going on the web. I'm typing in youtube.com because that's where my YouTube channel is located. Welp, YouTube has been oofed. Let load Scratch because for some reason I, I use Scratch without even knowing that it's for, well, younger than me. Welp. Scratch has also been oofed. And uh, there was no space and uh, I have deleted the S tier because S is not a grade. Yeah, since I cannot get access to um, this tier list website, I'm gonna do it on MS Paint. So, Windows XP is going on A tier, not gonna lie. I kind of like Windows XP, and I wish it didn't lose support back in 2014. All right, so next one on my list is, um, uh. We have that loading bar. Okay, so, yes, Windows Vista was released back in 2007, 
2006? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, yeah, Windows Vista has some arrow theme. And every time you start up Vista, it takes you to this, um, uh, welcome screen. Yeah, we don't need that anymore. Oh, right, and, uh, yeah. I'm installing one of those Windows 8. I mean, Windows 10 build right now. So, yeah. Anyways. Windows Vista looks pretty satisfying. You cannot see the taskbar because of the installation of some Windows 8 build. Yeah, well, even though Vista is so satisfying, yeah, Windows Vista just doesn't really make sense. So, uh, I'll put Vista on C tier because of being such a, a fancy OS, and uh, yeah, it didn't break all the time for me, so I just don't get why... People hate, hated Vista so much that they could just uninstall it and then go back into Windows XP or any Windows 9X, or better yet, move on to Mac OS. Okay, so before we move on to Windows 7, let's check on the installation progress for one of those Windows technical preview builds. Okay, who even thought this was a good idea? Okay, so, uh, I have already finished that, um, technical preview installation. Now we're moving on to Windows 7. Jump scare. You remember this, right? Yeah, there's hardly any animation since uh, Windows is not activated. This is in the um, the um, in the basic theme, and I tried putting the arrow theme, wouldn't work. There's no arrow. Yeah, there is no arrow. There is just basic and classic themes and those high contrast themes that make Windows 7 look so ugly. And the architecture um, for themes will not help. Windows Media Center is still here. Yeah, there's barely even animation. So yes, we also have gadgets. And we have this calculator. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to tell you which tier this goes on. Yeah, Windows 7 belongs into the B tier. I mean, like, it does have animation at some points, but... 
hardly any animations. And, uh, yeah, I just see XP better than 7 because, uh, yeah. 7 is just, I don't know, Vista 2.0. Or Vista with improvements. Yeah. Now, without any more further ado, let's move on into Windows 8. Yeah, Windows 8 has been bomb criticized because of the that start screen. You know, the start screen? Yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, many people say that Windows 8 sucked because of... Because of that weird start screen that has been introduced. So that's why Windows 8 is bomb criticized. And yeah, it's just a, a pain to use. How do I even shut it down? It's like no escape. The, that one no escape virus I just don't even realize and yeah there's still yeah just like every version of Windows there's gonna be <sighs> inconsistencies yeah Windows 8 is bomb criticized Yeah, it's time to shut it down. I think Windows 8 deserves the big fat F. I don't know why, but Windows 8 just doesn't make sense for keyboard and mouse users. However, it is it is fine for, I guess, for um, uh, tablet PCs, but yeah... Yeah, I, I thought better of Windows 8. Alright, now it's time to move into Windows 8.1. Yeah, this is slightly an improvement to the original Windows 8. Yeah. Because it has introduced the All Apps menu. Yeah, and I have installed Microsoft Edge on it. Let's try to browse my YouTube channel. Oh, thanks for the shortcut. All right, and don't forget to watch the video where I review Windows 8 for its 10th anniversary. And yeah, for some reason, I pretty much like Windows 8.1 because it's, you see those animations I think I could do that every day. I feel like I can just do that every day, guys. Yeah, it's time to shut it down. I don't want to waste that much time. And, uh, I'm gonna say that, uh, Windows 8.1 deserves the C tier because of its improvements to Windows 8. At least it doesn't feel like an overflown OS that just exists for a reason or another. Yeah, I remember Windows 10 was supposed to be the last and final version of Windows and then Microsoft would never make a Windows version ever again. That was until, uh, yeah, Windows 11's strange appearance that no one has ever heard of. Yeah. This literally takes a long time to load now. Yeah, so right off the bat here, I pretty much like how, uh, yeah. Did I just see a couple command prompts? Okay, so I mean like Windows 10 is mid. 
mean, like, it's pretty good, but not as good as Windows 8.1. I really like the animations in Windows 8.1. Yeah, this is version 2004. Yeah. 2020, the, um, 2020 update. Oh, right, and let's not forget about tablet mode. This looks kind of weird. Anyways, Windows 10 has also been bombed, criticized back in the days of Windows 10. Mainly because of bloatware. Here's what I mean by bloatware. And, uh, yeah, here's what I mean by bloatware in Windows 10. Yeah, Windows 10 is really cool, I guess, when it comes to creativity. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to not spend that much time. This is not a video dedicated to Windows 10. Yeah, I remember that before. But, uh, yeah, there's a couple of inconsistencies. I mean, like, and what I mean by inconsistencies, I mean a lot. Why does Windows 10 still have Internet Explorer? Internet Explorer has, um, uh, died. Oh, right, and I forgot to mention, there is a bunch of rumors out there where people are saying that Windows 10 uses Windows 8's unused logon sound as as the startup sound. Yeah, and the same thing is being claimed for Windows 8 and 8.1. And yeah, so concerning for some reason. Windows 10 uses Windows 7 startup sound? That has been changed in Windows 11. Yeah. The, you know, the startup sound that you mostly hear in Vista and 7, yeah. Now, let's just start up the shutdown. Oh, darn. I have an update. Seriously. Now, let's move on to Windows 11. Yeah. It is a Windows 11 de dev preview. Yeah, a dev preview. So, yeah. It may identify itself as Windows 10. Yep, just the plain old logo. Face reveal. Black screen. Okay, never mind. Okay, this may look half Windows 10, half Windows 11. going a lot slower than my real machine which is yeah my my real machine is also running windows 11 but better than all the others finally it has loaded for goodness sake anyways yeah we're here in windows 11 yeah there may be some remains from Windows 10 and there's even that stinky old Cortana I thought Cortana has ended since well um 2023 and then this happened yeah Cortana has officially died and yeah you remember that video where I made the video called Well, do you remember the video that I made it, that is titled, Cortana Dies? Yeah, you might have remembered that. And you also might have remembered the Windows 10 build. I mean, the Windows 10 version that looks like Windows 11, but with major tweaks. <clears throat> Just take a look at the Microsoft Store. <clears throat> yeah. 
and it has been updated. Yeah, it's taking a bit long to show up everything. Yeah, there may be some stuff that is sus. And no, I'm not talking about the Among Us type. And yes, they have changed the sounds a little. So yeah, I guess it is time to shut this down. It has the window, same Windows 10 shutdown screen and then, yeah, for some reason. Wait, I forgot to put Windows 10 on a ranking. What? You know what? I'll just put Windows 10 on D tier because of the bloatware. And, uh, I might as well, uh, put Windows 11 in the B tier. I mean, like, it has a couple of, uh, fixes to Windows 10, but people might get mad at me if I put it in the, um, highest tier possible. So, yes. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for what. Oh wait, I have an, a bunch of others to show. Other virtual machines to show. Okay, so the first one I have is Windows 2000. Alright, so, uh, the, um, second, the third one that I have is Windows XP Delta, which is a modification of Windows XP RTM. That gives you the vibe of a Windows Whistler beta. Oh right, and we also have Windows Server 2000. Uh, Windows Server uh, 2000. Um, uh, 2008. So yeah, it's where you have to um, type in a description and then uh. And then, yeah. Oh, right. And I also have Windows 8 release preview. And we also have Windows 8 green edition which is a modification of Windows 8 that is filled with green stuff. And uh, we also have Windows 8.1 Delta, which is a modification of Windows, um, uh, which is a modification of Windows 8 that has arrow and um is and gives you the vibe of of windows it gives you windows 8 beta vibes for um, some reason and we also have this uh windows 10 beta build um uh 9907 that is the only the um version of windows 10 that um is pseudo localized and i don't know why but for some reason there's two two profile pictures it's But only one when we do this login. Yeah. And it's it's the only build to um to um have the um hash ID spy. I don't know if Windows 8 build 
8331 has it as well since uh since that build is also pseudo localized and finally i have windows 11 running on my normal machine and uh after windows 12 comes out well i'm just gonna stick with windows 11 because windows 12 is gonna be subscription based i don't like having to subscribe anyways yeah thanks for watching those are my opinions so no need to change them all right so so i did, decided to erase the um uh i'm gonna i had to erase the s tier because s is not a grade like i stated before so on the f tier is windows 8 d tier windows 10 C tier, Vista in 8.1, B tier, Windows 7 and 11, and the highest tier possible, Windows XP. So, yes, you may be asking, why do I like Windows 8.1 more than Windows 10? Well, because Windows 8.1 comes with less bloatware than Windows 10. <sighs> yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This was the longest uh, Windows-related video that I've ever made. Anyways, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So yes, thanks for watching.